हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट वेरिएबल्स एंड डेटा टाइप सपोर्टेड इन कॉटली एज वी नो दैट द वेरिएबल इज द नेम ऑफ द लोकेशन द मेमोरी लोकेशन that hold value at run time in a computer program whenever we make a program we always use the value to hold to make some calculation so it's not easy for a human beings to remember the location of the memory where your values is going to be stored that's why we create a variable so variable is the name of the memory location that hold the value at run time in our program in kotlin there are two types of variables one variable is immutable and second is immutable mutable means in which the value can be changed normal variables and immutable is just like a constant variable as we use in other programming language also those value we cannot change once we have once we have initialized so mutable variables declare with where keyword and immutable is declared with <coughs> val keyword okay so if you want to declare the normal variable we have to use the var keyword or if you want to declare the constant variables just like immut or immutable is keyword is used val keyword okay now how how we can declare see the example uh, we have to use the var var variable val your var val keyword For declaring a immutable variable, then in place of that we have given this variable name. Okay, you have to give the name of the variable. Then we have a colon. Then we have data type. Let's see the example for declaring a immutable variable. We have to declare like this: val and variable name num, then colon and then data type int. And similarly for mutable variable declaration, we use var keyword, then variable name. colon and data type see the example here where num colon and int int means data type so these are the types of immutable in java data types because kotlin is a java based programming language so the all the data type which we have in java languages all similar data types is supported by kotlin also number type is byte short int long decimal type is float double string type is char string char type and boolean type is boolean so these are the data types which is supported in kotlin same data type which we have in java so see the example of these we have a intellij id in this click on this source file source folder src new and create a new file kotlin give their name variable example ex okay and create so the new file of kotlin is come here so we have to make a program just write main and automatically it will show you option to declare a main function click on this enter and we have the main function here okay in this we are going to declare a variable first of all we are going to declare a mutable variable so give var then num then data type okay then we can initialize the value num equal to 20 and we can display the value print ln no okay so it's a simple variable name num data type we are initializing the value and again we are printing this when you click this it will display the result 20 this is called mutable okay mutable variable
in compilation it taking lot of time what is running i am running this program this this file it's running previous file okay 20 then because it's a mutable so next time we can also change value for 30 and print ln num no need to give space also and just semicolon it is optional we can give also and again click on this and run this program same variable the value num equal to 20 and then num equal to 30 because it's a mutable variable we can change the value so this time it's displaying 20 then 30 that means we can change the value of this variable but when i convert this value as a well okay now you see this is an error well cannot be reassigned that means you cannot reassign the value once you have sliced the value num equal to 20 we have sliced then again we are in slicing this num with 30 so it's a error because why well cannot be reassigned why because this particular variable now it's a constant type of variable you cannot change the value of num but if i declare it where okay then it's everything is okay then run your program done so like this we can declare variables in place of int we can put float double care string whatever type of data type you want whatever type of variable you want to store like that data type you can take here all data type which is supported in java is also supported in kotlin okay meet you in next lecture mm -hmm.